I am at the salon. I am done for the day. I'm looking at my hair right now. I'm feeling like it's a little bit bright on my ends. It's just looking kind of raw and not shiny anymore. So I'm thinking I'm going to gloss it. I will show you sort of how to do that on your own. If you're in a pinch and can't get to the salon, I know it's really nice to, you know, have shiny hair that you get from getting glazes at the salon. So whether or not you're doing it yourself, I will kind of walk you through that process when you want to sort of richen up old balayage highlighted pieces with a non-permanent gloss. This product just sits on the outside of the hair strand. So it's really nice. It just adds light reflection and it's not going to change my hair at all. Over the course of six to eight weeks, as I shampoo my hair, it's going to slowly come out. I use Goldwell hair color. This is the Demi line. It's just going to add shine into my hair. I'm going to stick with something very neutral because I don't want to necessarily add warmth to my hair and I don't want to cool it down. I just kind of want to add gloss and deepen it up. So I'm going to use just a 7N neutral, it's like a light brown before you get into blonde. This product is two to one, so I put 100 mils developer. Now I'm gonna put 50 mils 7N. Let me sort of just shake it up. I just put on a protective gown and I just put a towel around my neck with a little clip just to protect my clothes and I don't wanna get anything on my skin either. I like to just brush through my hair, get out any tangles and hairspray, dry shampoo. Any products I put in this morning, I want to get it out. Then you just have to make sure it's shaken, really emulsified. Then it'll just sort of be that creamy consistency, then you know you're good. So it's definitely a lot harder to do this type of product on yourself because half, the majority of the hair is in the back and it's just hard to see the back. This is going everywhere, so it's not like it has to be targeted in a specific area. I think the hardest part about this is just doing the formulations. That's where you can go really wrong if you're not um, if you're not given a color kit from your stylist because your stylist knows what they've been doing on you. They know your hair and what it's gone through. So I highly recommend just getting the color kit from them. It's sort of a fail-safe option. Okay, so now I have split my hair down the middle in the back and I'm taking about an inch vertical section from the top of my head to the bottom. I'm holding it in my hair and I'm just in my hand going to put the product. Most of my grown out color is from here down. You can kind of see where it stops and my natural begins. So this product is not going to do anything to my natural hair, it's just going to make it shiny. And I'm just going section by one inch section towards the front of my face. I'm not too worried about the saturation right now. I just wanna make sure there's enough product on both sides of my hair. And I'm just doing the same on this side. This product really drips, so be careful not to make a mess or stain anything you love. So now that I have enough product on both sides of my hair, I'm just gonna split the remainder going on both sides of my roots. And just kind of put it all over like you would your shampoo. So now I applied the product all throughout and I just clipped up my hair in the back. Despite trying to be careful, you can see I made a gigantic mess. It's all the way down. So 
Now the floor has color on it too. So seriously, be very careful about not getting the product on something that you would hate to ruin. So now I'm just gonna wait 15 minutes and then I will shampoo, condition, style as usual, and I'll show you the final results. So I'm going to attempt to wash my own hair using the shampoo bowl back here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I will show you. At home, I highly recommend just getting in the shower. It'll be way easier. I already washed my hair this morning before work, so I don't want to shampoo with anything too rough that's going to strip my hair more. Um, probably no big deal, but we did just get this product in. It's the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Le Bain Psyca Extreme. So it's a post-bleaching procedure shampoo and cream. And I think the idea behind this is there's no sulfates and it's even conditioning. So I'm curious to try it out. So now I'm just going to rinse this. Technically, you don't need to shampoo this product out. Um, I'm gonna try that new product we have though. It looks like there's a lot of bubbles, which I'm surprised by. You would definitely still need to condition after using this product. So you can see how the color came out. It's just like a richer, lighter brown shade. Hope you like that and that helps you. I do recommend just getting it done by a professional if you can, it's way easier. But if you can't, then getting a color kit from them and doing it yourself is the next best option because what are you gonna do? Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.